prayers to the telephone pole. It's not okay. <laughs> the telephone pole did, in fact, pass away, but I think there it was... did. It was completely obliterated. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, guys. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Summerdale. Summerdale, and this here is Frank. Captain, Captain Frank. Captain Frank to you. So, uh, salute! I salute you, Frank. And we are back, middle of the week. It's been a good week so far. We learned all about ties. It's your favorite day. Thursday. It is my favorite day. You know why? Tomorrow's Friday. Today's the last day. Because I like a little bit of work. You know? Mm -hmm. Friday, it's just kick your feet up. Too much. Wednesday, it's too much work. You know, also, if you want something, like if, from a doctor or something like that, um, they're more likely to help you on a Thursday. And you want them to, once again. Like, right. You, it's like you can get things, because Friday, you're going to ruin your Friday by getting your your lymph nodes checked right no you do it on a thursday and then it, 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 everything you okay let me put this like let me put it to you like this let me give it to you straight right the more you do on a thursday makes your friday better right the more you do on a wednesday you go to thursday and nothing changes yeah eh. and it also it gives you a cushion so if you try to do something on a friday and it falls through mm -hmm. right you got to the post office too late or yeah. I know nobody goes to the post office anymore, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. Something like this. You go to the bank teller a bit too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> at the wee hours of the night. Um, no, again, even with the doc, you're 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 done. They you're say done. check us again on Monday. Check you're it. done. Friday is like not worth it. Thursday, you miss somebody or something. You still can. You still Fridays is still it's a it's a working day. It's a working day. Mm -hmm. It's you you just tie up the loose ends. Ties podcast shout out. Yes. You tie up the loose ends. <laughs> yes. On a Friday. So, yeah, um, it's a Thursday. It's been a pretty boring day here, except for the fact that a car flipped over. A car flipped over. There's a little bit of a, 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 a little bit of a shock shock on, on our block. It was a, <laughs> <laughs> the shock of the block. So we're here minding our own business. Yeah. Preparing for today's episodes. Right. Doing our, our due diligence because mm -hmm. it's, it's oh, you know what it is today, but just we have to do a lot of more research today. And we just start hearing this crash. And I've heard. You used to live on the boulevard. I, I lived live on a too. twelve. Yeah, we lived on a twelve lane, um, high a U.S. highway. Yeah, Roosevelt Boulevard. You know it. You've heard of it. You love it. Probably you don't love it. Yeah, probably not. Um, I've heard crashes all my life. Right. Ba boom, ba boom. Yeah. And so but we don't hear them here. One, one. First of all, you don't hear them here. Mm -mm. And two, you don't hear it the way you, hear, you heard it today. Yeah. I'm laying in bed. I just said I was working. I wasn't laying in bed. I was doing my people, due diligence. Ever since quarantine, people work in bed. That's what I was doing. And I hear this crash that Elongated. turns into another crash. Yeah. That's just like... Bah, 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 bah. This is what it sounds like. Bah, 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 no, that sounds too much like a motor. Yeah. It was hard to identify. It was hard to identify. And if someone... If like a... You know like that what would you do guy? What's his name? I don't know. You know the which, what would you do guy? What's his name? Um... If he came in and said, Spencer, you just heard a noise. What was that? I would have been like, I don't know. Definitely wasn't a car crash. Right. My mind was trying to put it towards something. Yes, it's unusual to hear car crashes around here. So my mind wasn't going to that. And there was a lot of breaking glass and metal. Glass against metal. Yeah, it sounded metal. like a demolition and team or something. Yeah, and it, it was like very odd. But you knew it was very serious. You knew it was very serious. So my brother goes running out the door. And he, he does have EMT training. Yeah, and I am peeking out the door like, what's what's all the noise? No, that's not true. Um, we and, all we all, and it was in, it was within the eyesight of our house. Yeah, it was thirty feet from our house, and um, we just see this car at the top of the street flipped completely over, upside down, upside down, and it was like, oh, this can't be good. And then the closer you got, you saw that it. A car just taking out the light post on the side of the street. It was a one car collision. A one car collision. And completely upside down in, in the oncoming road. Luckily, the guy was okay. He was coherent. Well, yeah. From, we don't know what kind of long term. Yeah. But you, you all ran out the door. I couldn't because I felt for sure the person was dead or dying. If you saw the car, it would be, it was a, a miracle that he was okay. I stayed in the house. 
And I just started reciting the 23rd Psalm for the driver over and over and over again until I got word that he was not dead. Yep. So, you know, police, EMT came, um, got him, flipped the car over. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to take a little bit for that, that telephone pole to get fixed. Right. Luckily, we didn't lose power. But prayers to that guy. Hopefully, yes. he's okay. Yes. And um, prayers to the telephone pole. That's not okay. <laughs> the telephone pole did, in fact, pass away. But I think there it was did. A- it was completely obliterated. Yeah. It's lucky it didn't pull the other wires down. Those are strong wires. It was a lot of luckies that happened. A lot of luckies. And that's what the show's about. Yeah. A lot of luckies. So today's May 13th. May 13th. This Which is the first Thursday, Thursday of, of being, being 25. 25. <laughs> first Thursday. It feels a little different. Does it? Yeah, my, my back kind of hurts. But beyond that, I'm okay. May 13th is the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima. Okay. And... I always loved the story of Our Lady of Fatima when I was young. Never heard it. So there's the different miracles that happened where the appearance of the um, Mary, mm-hmm. the Blessed Mother. Um, I ha- I always did have. Um, I always had. I liked. Um, I grew. I went to Catholic school, and we always in May. Um, we always had a May procession, and it was always for the Blessed Mother. Mm. And I just loved the songs that they picked, and it, yeah. I, obviously it was all flowers, and it was all. The color blue. Yeah. I always loved it. And they have different stories where the Blessed Mother makes appearances to different people. Mm. And um, so this appearance was in Portugal. Okay. It's very, very famous. Um, And there's a lot of schools and churches named after it. But um, she made an appearance to shepherd children in the early 1900s. Mm. And there was you can read about it the story goes on and on and some people believe them some people didn't and and then there was pilgrimages of people going because they wanted to be on the holy land and the children said that she said to say the rosary every single day oh um but whatever if you want to believe it or not or whatever it does for you i i do like i said i do like the blessed mother um and so today is the this is when they celebrate that happening so we're talking doing the Hail Mary? No. No. Oh. We could have. That would have made sense. Yeah, it would have. We can do it. Um, Switch up. It's Walkthrough Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz Walkthrough Wednesday just begun. And we are back, everybody. We are back. It is Walkthrough Thursday, the greatest time of the week to walk through on a thursday so what walk through thursday is is the day where we pick a bible verse mm-hmm. or a religious prayer, prayer poem prayer, song prayer, poem song and we break it down we break it down line by line word by word and slow it down slow it down just to get the meaning a little more we're not just it's not a speed read you know sometimes when you're reading we're doing a bible read you do a speed read not today not on walk through thursday right So, is this prayer the prayer we had planned? No. No. But when you were talking to me, I felt felt a little something. You were saying it is May. Yes. May reminds me of Mary. Right. Feast day. Right. Mary appeared. Whole time I'm thinking, Hail Mary. Then we need to do that. that. Is that what it's called? The Hail? Yeah. Say say the Hail Mary. Yeah. Five Hail Marys. Yeah. And so that's what we're going to walk through. I would have worn blue because like I said, I love. Would have dressed Frank up more. Oh, like with the, the... Nah, that's fine. Scarf? I could put a scarf on. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> let's no. not let's not get into <laughs> Well, we used to put all the we put the flowers on the statue and everything. Yeah. Um Okay, so we'll just preface we'll break the prayer down. Yes. Which is part Bible verse. Part Bible verse. Part prayer. Part add on. Um you will add what by what part of the gospel that came from when the angel appeared to to Mary, but as I was saying about the um, Our Lady of Fatima appearing to the th- little kids, and she told them to say the rosary. Um, the rosary is collect- is saying segments. Okay, there's prayer beads, and um, there's segments of ten, and each one you say a Hail Mary, mm. and then you have these breaks in between. You know all about it. I'm just saying it for the crowd. The breaks will be like the Our Father and the. Um, glory be or whatever and goes around but obviously 
vast majority of it is the Hail Mary, repeating yeah. it over and over. Um, so we'll break down the Hail Mary. So we'll break it down. Like, how about we say the prayer first? Okay. And that way we can explain more what we're doing. Okay. Would you like to do it? Sure. Um, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yes. Okay, so you're probably wondering, where in the Bible are is the Hail Mary from? Right. Well, it's not really all from the Bible, but it is. So the first part we'll look at, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Full stop. That is a direct takeaway from Luke 1, when he, the angel meets Mary. Right. And you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, well, why sure. was the angel meeting Mary? Sure. I knew it was going to be early gospel. So early this is gospel. the first book, the first chapter of Luke. Of Luke, yep. Because as you explained to us a little while ago, the New Testament starts... The Christmas story. Yeah. That's when we... So it's all um, prophesizing before that. Everything's going on. But they talk about this action happening. This action is now actually happening. So we get the Christmas story to the Easter story, basically. Angel is coming to tell Mary that she has been chosen among every living female on the earth at that time. That she is going to be... the because Because... She has no sin, that she is a worthy vessel for the earthly Christ to come to earth. And she understands that it's not her baby. It's not. Uh, and then they're going to have to explain it to Joseph as well, as we know, because so didn't, uh, it's wasn't a, too happy, but the end it's a, an agreement. It's a blessing that she received from God and she accepted it. Mm -hmm. And then she she was fulfilling the prophecies as a very young girl. Yeah, um, what, 14, 15? Th so they say. I mean, I don't think it says that in the Bible, but Bible historians tell us that. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll get to the second part second where, you know, it's sort mm -hmm. of added on. But let's go through that because it's all from the story. So the first line is, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Right. Or thee, if you're reading King James Version. Yes. So Hail Mary. Hail. Let's start just for the first two words. What does that mean? I think it's such... An All honorable, hail the king. It's yeah, it's such an honorable salutation. Mm -hmm. It's not hey Mary. <laughs> so Mary. Finger guns. It's not hey loser. Yeah. It's not hey peon. Yeah. You you dirt beneath my shoe. Right. This is what you're gonna or, or yeah. a servant. Guess what? Servant Mary. Yeah. It was it was from the get putting her on a little bit of a pedestal. Hail the people Mary. you say hail you say um hail hail to the king. Right. So she's a winner. She's a track star. <laughs> <Some runner. laughs> She's a winner because like out of the whole entire world, she was chosen to be the mother of God on earth. God is a man. Um, so the angel now angels are above humans. So they're already honorable, holy subjects. And this angel is hailing Mary, mm. calling her by her name, you know, not. Um, servant of Christ, get ready to accept this. Yeah. It's such an honorable salutation. Yeah. yeah. It's about as honorable as you can get. Yeah. Okay. So then it goes from there to say... Um, why he's hailing her. Why? Full of grace. You're full of grace. Full of grace. Right. What does grace mean? It's a definition of grace. Definition time. Oh, that's... The, okay, that makes sense. Yes. It's powerful, but it's... It's... um. Peaceful. Yeah. Powerful right. but peaceful. That's my Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, okay. We learned on the meme review, the takeover of the meme yeah. review, that the Christian Tinder bio. Um, so that's the explanation um, because this is condensed, like we said. This is a few verses that are yeah. put together yeah. in, into this um, prayer. So it's like, number one, you're being celebrate it hail mary and then why because you're full of grace yeah so now the question about the next line the, mm -hmm. the lord is with you the lord is with thee is this saying like god above is with you has chosen you or is it saying the lord is with you very interesting 
I do not have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess in a way it's both, right? Right. Like, well, yeah, of course, because it's, it's, it, the Lord is with you is the if Lord you believe, with you. If you um, believe in Mary, you believe in the Trinity, and the, and therefore you believe that God and the Son are the same. So, of course, you, you're correct. It would be both. But interesting. And you could probably, when you're praying, um, you know, your mind can always meditate on different things. And so for someone, it might be the Lord is with you um in this you're being chosen and you'll be you will be guided and protected through this whole so i'm gonna say i'm gonna go sorry to cut you off no, no, no. i'm gonna go off on a limb and say it's not yet referring to the baby inside of okay. her okay because if you think about it like when, when you're going through something you're saying the lord is with me like the lord is you with know what me. yeah it, you're right so it would it would feel less comforting if if it was all on her yeah like Lord's with you. Yeah. Try to try to uh, work that out. Protect them, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before anything, of right. like This is what's going on. Right. It's the Lord's with you because the angel is coming to Mary to make her not afraid mm-hmm. and to say it'll be okay. So, right. I think I'll go with you on that one and say that it's not just the angel. Like the angels, I'm here with you. Yeah. And I'm telling you this, but the Lord is with the Lord's you. With you're, you. You're not alone. We're not asking you to do. The hard, you know, something harder yeah. than you can do. Okay, and then we get to blessed are wait, blessed is your. How am I afraid of grace? The Lord's with you. Blessed are you among what? Blessed are you among women. Right. And blessed is. Should we just start there? Blessed oh, are you among women. And then, so we said that sort of in the beginning line. Why Mary was chosen was she was free of sin. Right. She was perfect. Um, perfect. Sorry. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Flo- among all flawless. the all the women. Flawless. Um, blessed. Blessed. Blessed and protected and chosen and um, just to let her know that, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah you're this, the chosen You're the chosen one. And you are worthy. You were the chosen one, Anakin. You're worthy. It wasn't a, um, do you think you're up to this or, yeah. you know, there was no mistake about it. You are blessed among yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. You, you are the best to do this. Yeah, it wasn't like, well, why me? What about uh, Kathy over there? It's like, right. you're the blessed one. Right, and it woman. wasn't a question like... Are you? Yeah. It's like, I'm an angel, obviously full of divine authority. And I'm saying that you are blessed among women. Yeah. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Right. And that's the boom. Right. Boom. Okay. So we I think your it's accolades. like, blessed is the fruit of your womb. Yeah. Did, did, did Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Right. No, I'm just saying like, is it blessed is the fruit of your womb? It could have stopped there. Right. But then Jesus, like, I know we run it together when we say it, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. But like, Jesus is the child in the womb. It's not the womb. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, blessed, blessed is the, the fruit of the womb. Blessed is the womb. Wait, blessed is the fruit of the womb. Which is a baby. Yeah. Right. Ble- so you are carrying a blessed child. Yes. And that blessed child is Jesus. Is Jesus. Yeah. So it's just uh, blessing the whole shebang. It's you are, you are blessed among women. And you are carrying right. the blessed Jesus. Whose name shall be Jesus. Whose name shall be this Jesus. Is, this is all predestined and it's taken care of. And you're blessed. And this baby's blessed. The whole pregnancy is blessed. Everyone's blessed. Reach under your chair. You're blessed. <laughs> the whole journey's blessed. And um, so it's, it's, a bunch of, it's a bunch of gospel condensed into some lines of a prayer. But... You have to imagine that when it happened, it was just like a bunch of other apparent apparitions in the Bible. It was so powerful, mm-hmm. so convincing, so beautiful, yeah. so comforting that there was no question in her mind that she would do it, that she could do it, that she was supposed to do it. You know, so if 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 somebody told you anything that you were supposed to do in four lines you'd be yeah, like, I'd be like oh, let me let me sleep on what? it but <laughs> my, no this my is... lawyer to look at this <laughs> but you just have to know that this was a beyond angelic event yes correct correct amundo and so that is where we end the story the gospel the story, gospel right. story of the angel visiting mary and some would say now this is where you start to pray before right. then it's sort of like a it's reminding an, an honor you. an honor to mary right um <laughs> You know, like we always talk about prayers and people are like, oh, how do you pray? And it's like, this is one of those prayers that are, I think, set up in a structure that I think it's good to pray. Yeah. Where it's like first you're 
being mindful of who you're speaking to like because it's like you, you can thank thank god for everything it's like and then you can start saying hey can i now oh can i pass my math test so you right. like, honored mary in this prayer because it's right. a prayer about mary right and then in the end it's then you're asking like holy mary this is now what i'm asking and so the first line goes holy mary <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he just said it. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Right. So just that's her that's her title right there. Right. Pray for us sinners. Right. So unlike her, Who I know you pro- I know okay, you don't yeah. like the word sin. I don't not like it. I, I like like it's there's so many things in Christianity that I agree with and I like. I don't mm-hmm. like what the words turned into. Okay. I don't like the way people like treat it. Like, I'm so fine with saying we're all sinners, but mm-hmm. it's not I I, 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 people treat it in one aspect. They'll say, "Oh yeah, we're all sinners," and then they'll see someone do a sin, and they'll say, "Oh, he's a sinner." And it's like, "Well, you're a sinner. You just said that." And, and right. so you, they, they're treating it two different ways. If we're only ever treating it the one way, I'd be fine with it. But right. I don't like the um, negativity. So right. much negativity. It's like, right. it's like, um, like, oh, we're all imperfect. You can say that, right. but then it's like, we're all flawed. I guess you could say so, it too. So it's but just a word. It's a in this way we're saying that, that she about. was completely and totally um, like how we always talk about our incorruptible soul. Yeah. But then we have our flawed bodies. So she her soul was the same as her body at this yeah. point. So pray for us sinners. It's just a word to explain the fact that we weren't our souls weren't on the outside of our bodies. Yeah. And, I wanna... I, and we forgot to mention. I think it's um, it's Gabriel. We keep saying the angel, but it's the angel yeah, Gabriel. Okay. And I want to talk about this because. Okay. You know, we we are raised Catholic churches, and so Mary's a lot bigger than in other churches, and saints are a lot bigger. Yes. And I see it on Christian Meme Review all the time. You get made fun of for praying to saints. Yes. Praying to Mary. Even. Yes. And I want to be clear, because that's not what's happening here. No. Because follow, what, what, what did we just say in, in this line? Did we say, Mary, um, or forgive us sinners? It's pray for us sinners. It's like, it, it's a one step same as you ask someone else to pray same for you, as you ask someone else, same mm-hmm. as you you ask a priest can you can you pray for me you're asking someone who you're honoring someone yes who lived a holy life yes. to then pray for you i'm glad you brought that up because people do think that um in, instead of a, the trinity we we have a quadruple where mary is part of the part of the part of god and mm-hmm. that we're treating her as such and we're we're venerating her and she's a false god and that's not the case at all. And when we say the first part of the gospel, we're just repeating the word of God, yeah. which we've said from the beginning. You can read the Bible and you're blessing yourself just yeah. by reading it. And we are remembering the gift of Jesus. When we when we think about mm-hmm. Mary or we say that prayer over and over, we're remembering the gift of Jesus. And it is th- like Luke 1. So it's the first... Um, the first time that he enters earth to help us. Yeah. So that's what we're remembering. Yeah. And then because she was so perfect and she was so loving, then like you just said, then the second part is when we say, um, please help, you know, pray for us. Yeah. And also she was human. She, you, right. you can say Jesus was God who came down in human form, but Mary was human in human form. Full. And so she is, as we know, we're, okay, we're all born with sin normal okay mary was chosen to be without sin right so it is the one person that you look at that is fully human right without sin and right. so that's the person that you would exactly. ask to pray for you like you without sin pray exactly for us sinners and she was very holy and perfect in that sense but she was also extremely pained and she was tormented to, to, to see what happened to her son and mm-hmm. to have to witness it go through it and and um as all of our uh all of our ancestors have gone to heaven but she even was so perfect she was assumed into assumed heaven assumed into heaven and so she has a very high energy to still be able to um comfort us yes because she we say Jesus suffered and so he he was better able to understand our pain but Mary especially can understand our pain yeah and the piatta uh, my mom, Michelangelo's my Pieta. Pieta. I don't even know how to say it, but my mom loved it because it's a beautiful work of art, and and you really see a human mother yes. in that in that um, 
pe- that work of yeah. art. Yeah. No, one of Michelangelo's greatest sculptures, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So where were we? We are at Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Right. Amen. Right. Which is another interesting thing. If you walk over it. Yeah, but quickly. We, I feel like a lot of our prayers, we talk about this. What was the one prayer we did? Oh, yeah. Where it, it was... Probably um, the 23rd Psalm. Yeah, 23rd Psalm. Yeah. And it was like, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. And I shall live in the house of the Lord forever. Yes. So one is walking through life and one is in heaven. Yeah. Right. But this is... um. Pray for or now and at the hour of our death, and so that's what we're at. Like it doesn't stop with like pray for us at just in life. Right, it's be with us always. Right now and when we when we right. enter the the house of of or the kingdom and again, of heaven. Because she was a human, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Because it was different for Jesus to his hour of death like his crossover and then he was resurrected you know mm-hmm. um but she as a human she would understand better that how much support we would need at our hour of death yes how we would be maybe more i don't want to say frightened but very curious as to what would yeah. happen and yeah. needing to be reassured and as a loving mother who you know held her child yes. in her arms the she, epitome of, her, of, a, of a mother for her mother. to help. oh yeah and for mother's day this is also a good time for yeah. us to do this it's, uh, we're still in mother's day week yeah right? has it been a week no, no. Sunday. sunday yeah we're still good we're in mother's day week so we have what, what else would we have Gosh. talked about mother of god and so that's the prayer amen yes. amen yeah, that's how that's the last word of it and so. amen means i believe what we were taught is i agree to all that has been said what did you what were you taught i never asked i think uh, i missed that day <laughs> um <laughs> all right guys well that was walk through thursday that was the hail mary very and interestingly you know he always wears his scapular um frank because we never know when he's gonna we never know. <laughs> he was left alone for quite some time when we were in florida but um this so, so, i think some some scapulars are different but this one says um whoever dies Wearing this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. Mary's promise. <laughs> That's that. Well, thank Frank you. Frank believes. Yeah, thank you, Frank, for that. But that is our show, guys. Come back tomorrow for Fun Friday, Fill in the Blank Friday, Freaky Friday. You never know what Frank it's going to be. Frank Friday. Frank um, Friday. Yeah, that's it. And it'll be your first Friday, Friday of as a 25-year-old. <laughs> oh, man, I'm excited. You should be excited, too. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about us. Say the Hail Mary five times. Peace.